All right, this is uh, this is Job chapter 37, verse 6. For he said to the snow, Be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. Okay, first and foremost, we're going to face the peace. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechach, Badash, and double honors to the elders of Apostle GMS who rule well. Salute you, brothers, pushing this word and truth, sincerity, and strength of power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Right? We are here to prophesy on the downfall of this wicked and destructive kingdom and gather the elect in the strength of power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, by the word. Of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, right? And prophesied the downfall of his wicked kingdom. And uh, salute you, brothers and sisters, uh, that's growing in the spirit and trusting in Yahweh Bashim al Shai, right? So read it for me again. All right, this, uh, is, uh, this is Job chapter 37, verse 6. Mm -hmm. For he said to the snow, Be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain. And to the great reign of his strength. Yeah. So, what it is is, when you look up that word strength, it goes into mighty. And whenever you watch the rain or the snow, when it downpours, it comes mightily. So, what the Heavenly Father and His Son did was cause the snow to come down mighty. And it, and it messed up the social uh, gathering and it messed up uh, the minds of the people and it messed up uh, the minds of the people in a way to where they think negative about the politics, you know? So read that for me again, Brother Kusha. This is, uh, this is Job chapter 37, verse six. For he says to the snow, be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain mm -hmm. and to the great rain of his strength. Yeah, so that snow came with strength and it shut down a lot of stuff. Like down here in Arkansas, these people were unprepared. Like our area, when they did the streets uh, over there in our regular area, where they did the streets, you can't even park on the side of the street because the snow so high, it's so, it's so high to where you can't even uh, drive to park to get to your parking spot. At least you get stuck. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you got, uh, uh, when you go into the stores down here, oh man, they've been raided, man. The stores down here in Arkansas, they've been raided, man. Especially in uh, Little Rock and in North Little Rock. They've been raided, man. You know? And you got, you had trucks, uh, 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 wasn't able to make deliveries because the people was unprepared. You know, the state of Arkansas was unprepared, man. And you see what's going on in Texas. Now you had a, uh, you had a uh, certain rollouts in uh, Arkansas in certain parts of Arkansas, but it wasn't as bad as it was as as you see uh, what took place in Texas. But that was all set up by Yahweh Bashim was shot. Uh, whether Esau using the harp or not, but it still was controlled by Yahweh Bashim al And to the brothers down there in Texas, hey, Yahweh Bashim al gonna always look out for y'all uh, to the ones that's sincere. He gonna always look out. And then they don't do nothing but uh, uh, strengthen y'all faith, you know, when y'all go through certain things, man. So may Yahweh Bashim al continue to be with y'all brothers down there in Texas, you know. Especially down there in uh, uh, Houston, you know, them brothers catch it, man. They they caught it with the with the flooding, and then they caught it with the snow, man. So, may your how about you, man? be with you, brothers, man. You know, you brother GMX. You know, so read that for me again. All right, this is uh, this is Job chapter thirty-seven, verse six. For he said to the snow, "Be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain." and to the great reign of his strength. Yup. So, it came down mightily, man. And it disrupt the uh, uh, the delivery system and the social gathering. And then, 
it messed up the minds of the people mentally as far as uh, how they think towards the uh, political system, man. You know, the government, man. And I always tell people, you had, you had Bon B, you know, the rapper Bon B come on there crying about what's going on in Texas, man. And like I was, like I was telling this brother, you know what I'm saying? You Negro Latinos in Native America need to go back and watch that that uh, that documentary called When the Levees Broke, man. The government do not care about you Negro Latinos in Native America. All they do is play mind games to control you to follow their way of life. And then when you do that, when you look for help from them, they'll stab you in the back. You know what I'm saying? They'll leave you out there for dead, man. But our power is Yahweh Bashim Awashah. Yahweh Bashim Awashah is not going to leave you out there for dead. He's going to take care of you if, if you trust in him and believe in him. You know? He might send you through a trial to test you, but he's not going to leave you out there for dead if you're sincere. You know? That's just what it is. So, uh, you got something, bro? No, no, no. I was, I was saying. Oh, okay. So, what I want to do is go to, uh, what is it, Isaiah uh, 24. It might be uh, five. Kind. Kind. That's it. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 5. Mm -hmm. The earth is also the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Right. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Which the everlasting covenant. When you, when you look into the covenant, these statute laws and commandments are one with nature, okay? When you start doing things contrary to the statute laws and commandments, it throws the earth out of court, okay? And the Heavenly Father sent things on the earth that you are not, the Heavenly Father and the Son sent things on the earth that you're not prepared for because of the transgressions of, of what's going on on the earth, man. Okay? And so, if the everlasting covenant is broken, what are these people into? They into idol worship and all other type of abomination, like uh, uh, lesbianism, freakism, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, sodomy. They into all that, man. Uh, women can be men. Men can be women. Justifying laws to where men can go in the bathroom if they feel like they uh, a, a woman. They feel like they're a woman at that particular moment. Yeah, man. This place is this place is uh, upside down and berserk, man. You know, a lot of these people are uh, uh, embarrassing to see coming down the street, man. Man, uh, if I may say, ahead, if I may say just like just like yesterday, uh, I had a, I had one of my daughters with me, and uh, we walk into this store, and you know they tried to clear out the store, you know, they panic shopping and stuff like that. Yeah. But we see this dude, right, with the same female jacket as my daughter. Yeah. Yeah, man. Straight confusion, man. It's embarrassing, man. Straight confusion, man. I mean, a female jacket, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you think it's nothing, man. Man, you hate to see something coming like that, man. Come, come. You know, you try to look down and look away, man, because it's embarrassing, man. You know? It hurts the eyes. Man. I it's an eyesore. Fuck that you got, fuck, he got the same coat you got. Yeah, man. These people are weirdos, man. But when when all this was happening, you know what I'm saying? When it, I think it started like... It had to start like Sunday. Uh, the snow or something? Yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah. like Sunday night. Yeah, like Sunday, Sunday night. Sunday. Well, Sunday. that following Monday, you know, the, I was out. You know, a lot of people were snowed in, but I was out. And when I was out, man, the streets were so peaceful, man. Gun, yeah, me too. I was out Monday. Yeah, the streets were so peaceful, man. It was so quiet, man. It was beautiful, man. Gun. No cars. No cars. I was enjoying that, man. You know? I was enjoying that, man. It was so peaceful, man. 
while everybody else was upset, I was at peace with it. You know what I'm saying? I was enjoying it, man, because I was out. I wasn't snowed in like that, you know? But the most high, you how about Shema was shot, is bringing judgment on this earth, man, because the everlasting covenant is broken, man. These people do not uphold what's written in the Bible, man. Esau Edom, man. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Okay? And that's why these things are happening on the earth because Esau kingdom is falling, man. Okay? And now, like I said, according to the Bible, reading the scriptures, uh, the Most High made this snow come down mighty, man. He made it come down mighty, man, and shook these people up, man. This is the worst I've seen it since I've moved down here. Yeah, yeah. That's this the, the worst. Time. This the worst I've seen it since I've been here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen it like this, man. You know? Had, it was so many. Co Go ahead. Oh no, no, I was gonna say I had a uh, co-worker when I was at work said that the last time he remembers seeing it similar like this was in 1987. Yeah, but he must have been older. Yeah, he's he's an older guy. Yeah, yeah, he must have yeah. been older. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah, he must have been older. But the times I've seen it, it's, it was a snowstorm to where, you know, the power lines would, you know what I'm saying, freeze up and the power, it'd be power outages. But not like this, man. Not like this. I ain't seen it like this, man. You know? But read that for me again. All right, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 5. The earth also, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, it's defiled because of the transgression that's on the earth, and it's defiled because of what these people outside of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, which I'm talking about the elect, because the elect believe in these people. Okay. But it's defiled because of what these people believe in, man. Okay? That's the reason why it's defiled, man, because they lean on their own understanding, man. Okay? And they come up with their own vain opinion. So when they're living their life, they're contrary to Yahweh Bashim al Shah while they having their own vain opinion. And he just send judgment on them, man. Open season on them, man. Especially you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, because you have become you have a Gentile state of mind now. Okay? It's two different kinds of Gentiles. You got the actual Gentiles and you got Israelites, meaning the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Take on the custom, whatever them nations are doing, and believe in whatever them nations are doing, and you Negro Latinos and Native Americans uphold it. So therefore the most high have open season on you when you do that. So you're in a Gentile state of mind. Okay? And the most high. Yahweh Bashem al is judging the earth, man. He's judging Esau because them curses are falling upon Esau and he's getting two-thirds, man, that don't believe in him, man. The earth is defiled, man. Okay? And if you can't see that, that means that you're living under a rock, man, and you have no clue. Okay? Which a lot of people don't. These people down in Arkansas, man, are so stupid, man. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, man. I mean, super stupid, man. It's ridiculous, man. You know? You have people out running red lights, crashing. I mean, like, it's just ridiculous, man. Stuck all over the place. Stuck all over the place, man. Middle of the street, you know. Middle of the street, stuck. Left there. You know? I had, I had a, I, like, I had a, I had like at least six cars stuck in the entrance of the area where I live at. Yeah, we man. Got one way in, one way out. And it was like six cars. I mean, just back to back. Just one to get stuck. Here comes the other one. He'd get stuck. Here comes the other one trying to go around it. He'd get stuck. By the time it was over, it was six different vehicles stuck in the entrance. Yeah, and then I had a coworker say where he stayed at. He had got stuck. I said, look, bro, do what you do. You get. Uh, a long piece of cardboard and drive up on it, man. You know, and get out your situation. When he came, when he came back to work, he said, "Man, I did what you said, man. I'm in the driveway, man. People are <laughs> looking at me. 
Yeah, man. So you can get some grip, man. Right. Lay some cardboard down there, man. And drive on that cardboard, man. He said, man, I got off the street because when they were throwing all that snow, they had kind of like got me in there. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like boxed me in. He said, man, I got that shovel, man, and put laser some cardboard down there, man, and got up over it, man, and parked in the and parked in the driveway. I said, yeah, man. That's all you had to do, man. And then he said, and then he said, this was uh, this was uh, what was it? Tuesday that happened to him. He said, uh, uh Wednesday, uh, after we got off of work. He was uh, helping other people that he seen using that cardboard. He said, man, I would have never thought of that. I said, yeah, yeah. it's just that simple. You know? But go back to the scriptures. This is uh, back in Isaiah chapter 24, verse 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, mm -hmm. because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Because Esau Edom is the one that governed the earth and he influenced the people using MK Ultra mind control to cause them to go astray and forget about Yahweh Shema was shot. When I say the people, mean the Negro like you know the Native American. And as long as you follow an Esau, it's open season on you. You're a target, man. And the most high Yahweh Shema was shot got the right to judge you, man. So if you uh, uh, didn't get no help, it's because the most high Yahweh Shema was shot wants you to suffer, man. He broke up that social gathering, man. The Most High is tired of the wickedness that's on this earth. That's why we are here teaching, man. Okay. As soon as as soon as this uh, uh, as soon as the uh, weekend came around, I was ready to get back out here, man. And prophesy, man. I was ready to get back out, man. You know, last week we had to do the entrance, but I was ready to get back out here, man. You know. And it's a beautiful thing that everything is being disrupted, man, because the men of the Lord are tired of this place, man. That's why we got the spirit of hasting is coming, man. And that's why uh, Apostle Tahar coined it, man. Because brothers want Yahweh Shema was shot to hurry up and come destroy this place. But we know that chip got to be implemented. And we know, we don't know the time or the date, but we do know if we get closer and closer, man. That chip is here, man. That chip is here, bro. You know, y'all people out there that's listening and learning, that chip is here, man. And it's prophesied in the King James Bible and no other book on this planet, man. Okay? So what I want to do is, you have something loaded? No, no, no. What I want to do is go to 2 Ezra chapter 9 and start at the top. Second Ezra chapter 9. And see, and on top of that, since that didn't happen to certain people over there in certain areas and in Texas, uh, what it has caused is that, uh, hold up for one second. I want to check something out. I want to show them something, something you sent me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check this out, man, what this storm has caused, man. Even though it's happened to an Edomite, but that's judgment, man. But it's going to continue to happen, man. Turns back on in Texas. There is relief, but for some like Ty Williams, you know, you're being held hostage and you can't do anything about it. It's short lived. During this winter storm, his electric bill for three meters climbed to more than 17,000 bucks. It usually hovers around 600 a month. How in the world can anyone pay that? You see, Williams is one of many who reached out to WFAA about their power bill soaring the last few days. And if you're not on a fixed contract with your energy provider and instead pay month to month based on current market prices like he does, 
you could be in the same boat because the Public Utility Commission of Texas raised prices to incentivize plants to produce more power. Jason Wheeler showed us Thursday night. At one point, one megawatt went from $50 to about $9,000. Yeah, no wonder Williams's bill was so high. So what do you do if you're in this rut? Yes, first of all, don't panic. Krista Castaneda is an attorney specializing in oil and gas. Step one, she says, turn off auto pay on your bill if it isn't already. That gives you time to call your provider, understand your bill, and protest. Have patience and gather your information. Castaneda also suggests calling your state officials. Representative Brooks Landgraf has already written a letter to the PUC admonishing them for raising prices and asks for it to rescind rate hikes on electric bills. And Representatives Justin Holland and Jeff Leach also plan to write letters. So this whole ordeal... And that's the downside of a deregulated market. ...may not be sorted out just yet. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howard. Yeah, so man, that's ridiculous, man. <laughs> man, you shouldn't have to go through that. But this Esau Edom Kingdom, man. And you think that ain't going to uh, swing to uh, you Negro Latinos and Native American front porch and your electric bill? Man, it's coming. It's happening to Esau, and this, this is their kingdom. Yeah, like the brother said, speak up, speak up, speak oh, up, okay, bro. So like, you know what I'm saying? If it's happening to Esau and this is their kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gonna come to us. Yeah. Not us, you know, you know, Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, you know, Jake, you know, Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yeah, yeah. So 